picture this, okay? Picture that you're going through a hard time. Um, you're starting to ask yourself these questions of why? Why am I here? Uh, uh, why am I insecure about this thing? Uh, why do I feel so alone? All of these questions, right? That we wonder within our lives. And you're trying to look for an answer, for solace, for some place where you could feel seen and understood. So you go on YouTube and you you search, um, how do I feel less alone or how do I be less lonely or how do I get over my insecurities or how do I do this or how can I be better? Or, Why do I feel so alone? Blah, blah, blah. And you come upon AI generated spiritual content. It's just a bunch of images of <laughs> monks or visceral figures just meditating to an AI generated text script. And that's what I want to talk about today. <laughs> so, I was doing a little bit of research the other day about the topic of chosen ones within spirituality, right? The topic or the concept of the chosen one stems from religion, right? The person that was chosen that to be more different or secular from everybody else, right? The person that for some reason is awakened while everybody else isn't. If you've actually ventured into the concept of spirituality, you'll find to know that actually the topic of chosen ones is actually contradictory to everything that spirituality aims to uh, provide us with, which is the understanding that we are all actually one, connected to everything. As I was doing this research about chosen ones, it makes sense, right? People want to feel a sense of um, genuinity, a sense of uniqueness in this world, a sense of not feeling alone, a sense of purpose, uh, something that makes them different from everybody else, right? And when we feel lost or when we feel like we, like we can't grasp for things, whatever makes the most sense to us, we connect to. And I understand why people watch these spirituality videos or try to gain some answers from things because we all feel a little bit lost. We all trying to find our place in the world. But how contradictory is it that we are listening to <laughs> AI generated garbage to find our place in the world rather than connecting soul to soul with individuals? Now, it's all for the sake of manipulating vulnerable people, people who feel lost, people who want to find meaning in their lives. How sad and how depressing is that? And people get steered into this false sense of uniqueness, this false sense of distance with one another. And that's why you see tons of spiritual leaders or spiritual people who would distance themselves from people who will think of themselves so highly in comparison to other people. And the con and that ties it all in with the sense of like awakening and, oh, look, I'm awakened and everybody else isn't awakened and everybody else is an NPC. You're just like the rest of them. <laughs> You're just like the rest of everybody else. You are everyone. You are just like everyone else. And I feel that this content, this AI generated content that keeps being pushed to people gives people a false sense of what it actually means to be in tune with yourself and the world. And it drives me crazy. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what to do. I, I'm telling you, I was going through this, like, like I was essentially researching, like I was saying, I was researching the topic of chosen ones, right? And just because I found that the concept was just so ridiculous, right? And I wanted to make a video about it. But instead, as I was researching the topic, I get flooded with... <laughs> AI generated video after AI generated video. Challenge, okay? Pause this video, go into YouTube and search chosen ones, okay? 
and just scroll through. Just scroll through all of the videos, come back to this video and you'll see exactly what I mean. And if you actually like sit down and you watch one of these videos, it's literally, it's the most basic fucking shit ever. It's like, I think one of them was like, oh, you know, you don't have a partner because uh, you're just waiting for the right person to come along. It's like, like, what the fuck? Like, no shit. Like, that doesn't make you, just makes you like a person. It's so insane how glamorized this sense of like spirituality has become and, and how it just separates us from one another. It makes us think that we are better than everybody else. And that's why sometimes, especially like spiritual leaders, or sometimes you, you see that like one person who's just like, oh, I'm better than you because like I'm this or like, because I've been to Bali and I took ayahuasca, like fuck off. <laughs> You're just like everybody else You're stuck in your own ego because everybody's just trying to find their place. Everybody's trying to find something to identify to. And I get it, you know, I get it. We all kind of need that. We all strive for that, right? To find our place in the world, to find meaning, to find something that makes sense to us. And I feel like this content and this glamorization of what it actually is hinders the actual true meaning of spirituality. And I'm not saying that I know the meaning. I don't. I really, really don't. But how hypocritical, how absurd is it that people, thousands and thousands and thousands of people are going to watch these videos, these AI generated garbage made by people who are taking advantage of vulnerable people trying to find place and solace in the world. How absurd is it that we... <laughs> That we rely on this to find our purpose, to find our meaning. And it, I'm looking at it as so, it's so sad. It's just so sad where the world has come to. No wonder we're all fucking confused. We don't even know what the fuck to do. Like, there, there's such a lack of, of soul, of essence, of, of purpose, of, of human connection now more than ever and it's gonna get fucking worse from here not to get not to get all like <laughs> not to get all fucking pessimistic but it's gonna get worse and worse and worse from here and especially with the content on youtube there's gonna be a whole like psychological and philosophical we welfare because we won't know what's real and what isn't anymore and how terrifying is that and as i was scrolling through these videos countless countless videos about chosen ones about spirituality or why are you more spiritual than others or why do you feel different why are you different from everybody else i think to myself how sad that these videos get thousands and millions of views and i wonder who are the people that are actually watching these videos and connect with them and actually truly believe it and how that might hinder their lives? And so I'm not saying to listen to me because I don't know fuck all, but don't fucking listen to that fucking garbage either. <laughs> and look, I'm not saying to listen to me. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying or doing or ever really. Also, my name is Alex, if that was unclear, if you're still watching, just want to introduce myself. Now that we've gotten familiar with each other, <laughs> my name is Alex. I don't fucking know what I'm doing, what I'm talking about, or if I'm making any sense, or if I know better than, I, I don't. Make your own critical judgments. I'm scared. Now, one day we will reach a point where we don't know what's real and what's fake. I'm afraid that will reach a point of complete, utter madness within ourselves. Because now we feel more lost than ever. And I think with the way things are going, we're gonna feel more and more lost. 
And when we feel more and more loss, we grasp at any straws that are given to us. Anything, anything that just gives us a, a modicum of, of sense, of understanding. And I'm afraid that people will fall under the trap of fucking AI generated bullshit. <laughs> Rather than taking the work and working on yourself and not only that, but talking to people, real life people about their experiences, really delving into the community of people. And I'm scared that this content, which is easily digestible for everybody, will replace the actual way we connect with people. By connecting with people in real time, in real life, you realize, you notice that you're actually not that different from anybody else. You realize just how similar we all are to each other. So I don't think maybe all of this content that aims to separate one another, to make ourselves feel better about ourselves, and to look at everybody else with disdain, like, oh, these are NPCs or people who are unawakened or blah, blah, blah. That just removes a level of understanding in our lives. Because who are you? Who is anybody? Who am I to judge or to look down on anybody else? Why? Because I watched some fucking AI generated bullshit that told me I was a chosen one? I don't think so. Anyway, um, that's it. Just a little rant I wanted to talk about today. Um, I had some other ideas for videos that I wanted to do, but for some reason, I just felt really compelled to do this one um, just because I'm tired. I'm just sick and, and, and tired of the way shit is going. And I'm afraid that we'll go into this like spiritual welfare where we are devout of meaning. We have no meaning, no sense of understanding. And I know because I struggle with that and I still struggle with that. And I'm just scared for the future of our souls, we'll make our essence, what makes us human. That's why I felt compelled to make this video. So um, if you agree with me, if you don't, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> But um, I am interested in hearing uh, what you guys have to say. So if you want to comment, have a conversation about it, let me know. I would really appreciate that. And uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like I said, just search up um, Chosen Ones in the YouTube search bar. If you finish this video, look it up, watch some of the videos. You'll know exactly what I mean. And, um, and see for yourself where the world's going. And that's it. Um, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great day. And keep being you. Okay, that's it. Bye! <laughs>